Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking you through HTML colors. Colors play a vital role in making a web page look more good to the user. In this tutorial, we'll see how HTML is used to change the colors of a web page, which directly affect the look and feel of a web page in order to make it look a bit more attractive to the user. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. As it's quite obvious that while working on any web page, we need to make sure that it looks attractive to the user to gain more of their attention. What colors can do to a web page is quite understandable. And we need to make sure that colors present on a web page should be at point. The question that arises here is how we can achieve that? Is it possible to do it with the help of HTML only? Yes, it's possible to do so. Before we move on and see how, let me tell you guys that we can achieve the same thing with the help of CSS as well. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. In fact, CSS is always a better option because it helps us make the whole document not only cleaner but also provides some extra features in it. Now, what if we don't have any CSS knowledge? How HTML can be used to make change in the color scheme of any web page? The first thing to keep in mind while using HTML for making color changes is the style attribute. We have been through this attribute already and we know that this particular attribute is used to make style changes to any particular HTML element or the whole document. Let's take an example here where we'll use a division and we'll change the background color and the font color of that particular division. We'll also change the border color. For that, we'll write here. So let's create the division first. So we'll create the division using the div tag. So we'll write here div. Now inside div, we'll add a heading. So first add a heading, let's say. So let's say the heading is this is an example. Fine. Now let's add some paragraph over here. So we'll use the p tag for that or the paragraph tag we can see. So let's say we are writing over here. There are three different methods to change the color in a web page. Fine. So we'll write it in a web page. Fine. We are done with the paragraph. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add an unordered list over here. So for that we'll use the ul tag which stands for unordered list. Now we have to add the list elements inside here. So let's say we have color names as the first option. Then we have let's say the hex codes. So we'll write here hex codes. And finally let's say we have RGB values. Fine, so we'll write here RGB values. So here we are done with the basic container. The next thing we'll do is we'll make the border visible. So first of all, save the program. And here you can see we have all the data over here. We have a heading, we have a paragraph and three different list titles. Fine. Now we'll use the style attribute inside the div tag to make the border visible first. So what we'll do is we'll go to the div tag over here. We'll use the style attribute. We'll write here style. And here we have the style attribute. Now inside this, we'll write border. Now the border will take three different values. First of all, we'll write here the border size. So let's say the border is going to be two pixel thick and the border is going to be solid in nature. So basically we have written solid over here. Save the program. And here you can see on the browser that we have a border present around the whole division. This is basically the whole area acquired by this div element. Now, you can see here that we didn't specify any color of our own choice here, right? The default color of this border is black. However, we can change this color from the border property present inside the style attribute. So it takes three parameters by default. We have given two here. We have given the border size and the border nature. The third one will be the color of this border. So what we'll do is we'll basically write here, let's say red. Fine. Red here is the color name. Save the program. And you can see here the border color is red now. It's easy, right? In the same way, we can change the background color of this whole division as well. 
the property name will change what we have to do is we have to write here after border so we have border over here now after border we have to put a semicolon over here and after this we have to write here background color fine so we have the background color property over here now what we have to do is we have to write the name of our background color fine so let's say the background color of this property is going to be aqua for now right here aqua save the program and you can see here the background color has changed now this background color property has the capability to change the background color of any particular element or the whole body you can witness the change here on the browser you have already witnessed it it can be used to change the background color of the whole body as well for that what we have to do is we have to go to the body tag over here and we have to use the style attribute over here as well so we'll write here style now inside the style attribute we have to mention background color and let's say the background color is going to be blue fine so blue here is the color name save the program and we have the whole background in blue color now you can see it over here right the next thing we'll discuss is how to change the font color of any particular element you can see the font color here is black for now now we'll see how we can change it for that we have to use the color property inside the style attribute so you can see it over here we have the style attribute present inside the div element what we have to do is we have to mention another property over here so after semicolon what we are going to do is we are going to write here color and we are going to specify the color over here so we have a list of colors over here in vs code so let's say we are using blue violet save the program and you can see the font color is changed fine so this is how we can change the background color and the font color of any web page or of any element the last thing we are going to discuss in today's video is the color coding methods present in html there are three different ways to specify any particular color in html we can either use the color name to do so which we did till now so here you can see we are using the color names so here you can see we have blue violet we have aqua so these all are color names we have red and blue as well now apart from that we can also use the rgb values or the hex values of colors the rgb values stand for red green and blue colors these three colors are the most basic and these can be used to make any color fine this color value is specified using the rgb property so what we have to do is instead of writing the name of color we'll remove it from here and now we'll use the rgb value so we have to use the rgb property first so we'll write here rgb and here you can see we have three different values present inside rgb we have red green and blue fine the value can be an integer between 0 and 255 or a percentage as well so what we have to do is we have to write here let's say 255 and for green we are also going to use 255 and for blue let's say we are using 255 fine so these are the rgb values for white color fine so for black we have to mention zero for all three colors it's easy to use these values if you have a good idea about colors and you know how to make different colors out of these three basic colors save the program and you can see the background color is changed to white now fine now not all the browsers out there support this method of color coding so it's recommended not to use it the last method we have is the hex method in this method as well the three basic colors are used a hexadecimal is a six digit representation of a color the first two digits represent the red value the next two are a green value and the last one is the blue value each hexadecimal code will be provided by a pound or a hash sign for using the hex values of any color so we have to write here now what we are going to do is we are going to change the background color using hex values so we have blue for now here now what we are going to do is we are going to use a hex value of any color fine so let's say we are using yellow fine so we have to write here hash now we have to provide the hex value so we have to write here ff ff and 00 so this is basically equals to the rgb value so we will write the equivalent rgb value for yellow color as well 
So the equivalent RGB value for yellow color is 255,255,0. So these two colors are same. These two things means actually the same. This is the hexadecimal value and this is the RGB value for yellow color. So we'll remove this for now. Save the program and you can see the background is yellow in color. Fine. I hope you guys got this. If you are using VS Code as an editor, then we have an advantage as it allows you to choose the colors from its own color scheme. Just click here on any color and you can see we have this color scheme over here. We can choose any color of our own choice. We have to set this cursor inside here and it will give us the hex value of that particular color. So you can see it over here. So let's do it for now. Save the program and you can see the background color is changed. I want you guys to give it a try and let us know what you learned. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML fonts. If you enjoyed watching this video then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.